Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a really cool one. Uh, basically, I'll be reviewing uh, lights on, but right here I actually have two cans. And so basically, um, I recently went and I have a can that is about a week fresh, literally a week fresh from canning. And thankfully my friend actually just went there uh, previously before that and this can is about a month fresh. So it's really strange that I traded him two cans of fresher beer for older beer, but it's all in the interest of um, experimentation. So I'm really curious to see how um, Treehouse is doing with age on their beer is just really kind of a fun kind of experiment. Not that I think their beers, you know, fall apart or anything, but just really cool to see how their beers age. So uh, again, week fresh and about month fresh. So, and also I don't need, you know, two different cups because, uh, paper cups, because I guess the appearances should be the same. Yep. So let's make sure they're about the same. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's about the same. Okay. So I'm mixing them up. Um, so basically with, uh, yes. Oh wait, I made sure. But, sorry, I'm, I'm confused. Making sure this one, yeah, okay, that, that's the one. That's the, I have that one as the older one. Okay, um, so basically, um, these hoppy beers with age, I mean, they're, they're, uh, they have, I mean, yeah, they're can conditioned. I'm not quite sure what would affect the beer with age, but maybe hops developing with age, um, the yeast, um, I don't know, who knows? I guess we'll see. So, um, yeah, let's, yeah, they're mixed up. <laughs> I actually don't know which one's which, yeah. Uh, so the first one, let's think of this one. Oh, yeah, I've had this beer. Um, awesome stuff. It's super orangey. You get a little bit of like kind of tropical fruit, a pineapple peach thing. A hint of like floral, some sticky pine kind of note. Yeah, it's more like sticky pine, a little bit of um, uh, a doughy malt in there. Cheers. Mm. Wow, that's awesome. Up front, you again get that awesome bubblegum flavor. Uh, again, follows with a good amount of tropical fruit up front, a little bit of pineapple again. Pineapple passion fruit. Oh, wonderful, juicy fruit kind of flavors. A little bit of bready malt in the middle. And then on the back end, it's reasonably bitter for a pale ale. I would say it's medium to, uh, bitterness for a pale ale. It does have a lingering kind of, um, yeah, piney kind of bitterness on the back end. Yeah. Oh, just awesome stuff. Wonderful melange of like kind of citrus fruits, tropical. And then that kind of piney bitterness on the back end. Uh, it's a nice and creamy mouthfeel for a pale ale. Awesome stuff. Let's think this one. <laughs> it smells pretty much the same, yeah. Tropical citrus, sticky pine. Pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm going to try to figure out exactly what I can see as the difference. This one I want to say is a little bit more yeasty. Get more of that longing kind of, again, juicy fruit bubble uh, gum kind of thing going on. Mm-hmm. Darn. So maybe this one's a little bit more creamy. It's really hard. I mean, then again, it could just be that three weeks makes no difference for this beer. And I'm really making, uh, doing like a completely futile kind of experiment. Um, yeah, I'd be hard pressed if you could really figure out that these two were not exactly the same cannings, the exact same batch. Oh, wonderful, like passion fruit kind of mango thing going on, a mango smoothie kind of thing on this one. Hmm. This one though has a little bit more kind of yeasty thing going on. Though also with that mango smoothie kind of thing. Jeez, that's really hard. I'm really trying to pick between the two. Mm-hmm. Lingering kind of like, like almost like resiny, piney kind of like sap sticking to your um, teeth. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Psh, I'm gonna say I like this one more. Um, maybe it comes off a little bit more yeasty for me. I don't know why. Uh, therefore, I actually don't know which one it would be, if it would be the newer one or the older one. Um, yeah, who knows? I'm gonna say I prefer this one. Let's see which one it is. Uh, this one's the older one. So there you go. I'm, I'm just saying that I prefer the older one, but I really doubt there's a huge difference between the two. So there you go. If you have some um, Treehouse Lights on or some maybe probably some of the other hoppy beers as well, you're pretty good if you keep it in the fridge. Um, I reasonably can't tell the difference between the two, so. 
And they're both absolutely fantastic. Actually, maybe I like it a little bit more at the age. All right, so maybe you should age your lights on for a month instead of having it a week fresh. There you go, that's sort of my conclusion, but again, they're very, very nuanced differences. If there are any, maybe I'm just making them up, I don't know. But um, yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> didn't really end up learning too much about these two beers with age, but um, you know, you always gotta try experiments. So until next time, guys, cheers. Let me know if you've aged your treehouse beers and see how that's gone for you. I'm really curious about your experiments. Until next time, guys, cheers, later.